Welcome everybody to the season opener here for the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour. We are here in the beautiful location of the Hawaii Kite Beach Resort. And I tell you what, we have new faces here at this competition. There's new challenges. We have a new format and there are going to be new moves out there on the water. Let's go and check out the action. Today is the big day. We are going to be crowning our champions here in the season opener of the Visit Qatar GK Freestyle World Cup. We are going to be starting off with the semi-final of the men and I tell you one thing, you can feel the electricity out here at the Favide Kite Beach Resort. The wind is here, the conditions are starting, we are going to get action on the water. In the first semi-final, 2019 world champion Valentin Rodriguez looked very fresh and set to have a close battle for the win with Manuel Suarez. In his first event in 18 months, Luca Buto from France had another idea and supercharged his heat score with another performance filled with variety including a free trick combo. In the second semi-final, Carlos Mario gained an early advantage. Jan Maria Cocoluto then woke up and juiced up his own performance in the second half of his heat, high scoring with a powerful KGB5. Both champions were safely through. By the time the women's final ran, we could see crowds ramming the beach, getting ready to see the best kiteboarders on the planet do their thing. In the women's final, Claudia Leon, Bruna Kajia, Natalie Landrek, and Mikhail Sol locked horns and put on a sensational show. Mika had opened up the heat with the highest scoring trick of the final, earning an 8.07 for a huge slim five but then suffered by taking three attempts to finally nail a Hinterberger 5. Mika still had a chance to win on her final trick, but missing the bar on a crow mobe brought heartache for the world champion. Bruna's mix of experience, style and grit brought her the win here in Qatar. Bruna! You know, those minutes after I came off my heat were the longest because I kind of felt like it did really good. I had people look at me going like this, but you know, I wanted the real confirmation and it's been a long time coming for this. We've been fighting so hard for it and it just feels great to start the year with a win. In his first ever World Tour Final, Luca Pitor took the fight bravely to the three world champions, Carlos Mario, Jean Maria Cocoluto and Valentin Rodriguez. A big heart attack 5 and a KGP 5 proved that he was more than just the king of combos and toe side maneuvers. Leading the heat up to the last two trick attempts, Pito then crashed twice, opening the doors for the other athletes. The experience of Gian Maria Cocoluto and Carlos Mario eventually shone through. In the end, it was the current world champion Gian Maria Cocoluto who took a very narrow victory over Carlos Mario, winning by less than half a point thanks to a clinical slim seven. Man, I'm proud of you, eh? 
Well, after the winning in Brazil, I back home for a few months without kiting. And I came here without any train, so I'm super stoked to take the win here without any training. So now I'm super confident, back home, go training and ready for Colombia. Tomorrow is the last day of the event window and there will be show performances on the water, as well as the closing ceremony here at the Ferrari Kite Beach Resort, where the winners will officially be crowned.